Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another episode of City Skyline Sunset Harbor DLC. We are back in the, I would say, the struggling city of Portsmouth Abbey. Yeah, I'm going to say struggling. Um, for today, um, as you can tell, our city still looks great. We have some skyscrapers. Everything's still growing. But we do have a problem. So I'm going to hit that escape button, and we will check it out. So one of the main issues that I've noticed with this city, well, there's two things. There's a lot of death, so I need to improve the health care of my citizens. But then the next thing I noticed is if we zoom in on this building, there is there is a blue icon. Oh, there is a blue icon above it, and it kind of is throwing off. It's kind of like thro a throbbing red square of doom. So over here, I'll, I will click on it. It says not enough goods to sell. So this is a, so for today, we are going to solve the problem of not enough goods to sell. So as I zoom out, you can tell besides the death, the number one issue we have is actually the not enough goods to sell. So now the question of the day is, and you can see a lot of these buildings have demolished themselves because I have an auto demolish mod on. So the question of the day is, how do you solve the not enough goods to sell issue? So first of all, we got to take a look at the issue. So if you click at the top left and you click on this thing, it says outside connections. <clears throat> so you have the import and export button. So first of all, let's look at the export button. So if we zoom out, our exported goods are basically our our industry. So you have the forest industry, you have the ore industry in blue, you have farming in orange, you have red is fishing, although fishing is not doing too well. And then what's the last industry? Oh, the oil industry. Where are you oil? Then the oil industry is over here. Okay, so we are exporting these goods. And weirdly enough, we are actually exporting farm goods the most, which is kind of shocking because I feel like we don't make a ton of those goods. Anyways, so now the key is import goods. Okay, so you can tell, you can see clearly on this pie chart that first of all, goods is pink. It's like a, we'll call it pink. Goods is pink, and it's literally ninety-eight percent. We are importing a lot, and it's literally ninety-eight percent of. I'm just assuming, or ninety-five, ninety-six. It's it's a high level, and we are importing goods, and that is not good. So that means every good that these buildings, so if I hit the X, X out button and get out of this. So every building that needs, that's waving this, you know, this little blue icon and saying not enough goods, it has to import it from an outside city. So that is not good. So the question is, is how do you fix that? Well, it's actually a pretty easy response. I have a very easy answer to that. And if we zoom to what part of the city? If we zoom over here, a lot of the goods that are created are actually created by generic plants such as Aero Designs. Such as, so basically it's generic industry that you need that basically will help this issue. So what we're going to do today is we're, like I said, we're going to fix the not enough goods and we're going to create our own. So where would be a good spot to put this? Do, 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 sorry. And you do want to put the generic services obviously close by to residential. So like if we expanded over here a little bit, I bet you that would actually be a good idea. So let's go over here and just expand over here a little bit. No. And let's, no, wait, this is, no, we don't want to do that. Scratch that guys, scratch that. I'm going to build a generic industry over here on this waterfront. So let's grab a road over here. I want it to go straight across, but yeah, that's pretty straight. Well, actually, if you think about it, we... Hmm. I actually have to think about this. I didn't think this one through very well. So I would... So first of all, did not think this one through.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I'm gonna put the generic industry over here. The reason for it is because we can connect up the neighborhood over here to it. So we'll actually have employees working it. Then we can also have, we have a highway connection. So let's first design the lovely generic industry area. Now we're just gonna make this a simple grid I, this is, I'm basically creating this video just so we can, I can show you how to actually get rid of the not enough goods. So just a basic grid and I'm just showing you how it will actually help lower the, you know, fix that issue. So let's just create kind of, kind of a square that works. And then we can go over here also. There you go. So now let's connect this. All right. So what we're going to do now over here is since we, this is going to be generic industry, we're going to create a train line over here. If I could find the one way, there it is. I was going to say, if I can find the one way route. So this is basically every city I feel like has this issue eventually. So this is something to help fix that issue. So let's, again, this is just going to be very, very basic. So don't usually, if you, if you follow me before on any other of my videos, you know that I go into usually a lot of detail, but we'll keep that there. Okay. So we have that now let's create our road. So let's create our small industry path. Actually, let's do that over here. There you go. So let's basically make it a grid. I know grids are not fun, guys. I know I'm actually very anti-grid, but for this example of how to fix everything in my city, I just wanted to show you guys. So bear with me. Actually, I kind of like what I just did there. So I didn't, as you can tell, I didn't actually go. I didn't actually complete the road so watch so i'm gonna do that to over here also so we're only gonna have a couple places where the road actually touches so we we don't have as many lights and what i mean by touches the road it makes a full signal so basically we are just going to the very end of this road and we're stopping right before it. so look at you can tell look at right there isn't that perfect so we will add one more light to this area so the traffic doesn't get too bad, but I thought that was actually pretty clever. Guys, I feel like I'm, I did something clever. I'm very proud of myself. All right, we're gonna need a highway connection. So that is the next most important thing because our goods that we're gonna be creating, we actually need them to, you know, kinda get out. <laughs> get out of the industry and nope, let's create a ramp off the very beginning of this. So let's go up. You need to go up right away. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. All right, so let's do the on and off ramps real quick. Shouldn't be too bad. Again, this is just supposed to be a very simple video. So please bear with, oh God, get out of the way little tweet thing. So just bear with me. I know I know many of you are very advanced in city skylines and already know this, but there's a lot of people out there that actually really don't know how to do this. And that is what this video is for. Okay, city skylines. There you go, go up, go down. There you go. Again, this is not supposed to look pretty. If I want to make it look pretty, I would grab the move it tool and do that. There we go. See, it looks pretty, guys. All right, so let's make sure we get um, our connection to this lovely, lovely neighborhood. Let's get a connection over here. We'll just go, we'll just go straight across. That's not a big deal. All right, so now let's start filling this in. So we're, we're actually, I'm actually, even though you don't have to, I've actually never done this. So 
I'm going to district this, which I know is going to sound stupid, but I've actually never done this before. So we, we're, we district all of over here. All right. So that looks pretty a-okay to me, but okay. So let's, let's just see this through. Oops. Not like that. All right. So we have that. So now if we go over to our district tool, I actually did not know, but you can label that. So as you can tell, so if you change, well, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so if you actually, you can actually create, so if you go to the right, a generic industry. So I'm creating a generic industry. So that is actually what we're looking for, which is kind of cra crazy. I've played this game for well over a year and I have never even thought about using generic industry, not once. So let's now let's make sure we add our lovely industrial squares so we can just fill this all in. I'm not really again, this is just for an example purpose. I know I've said it like four times, but this should quickly fill in because we do have a demand for industry. So that's that's always a good thing. Oh my God, what did I forget to do guys? In the comment section below, what did I forget to do? And that's a pretty, actually, let's get rid of that. I'm going to change this up a little bit. I forgot to add <laughs> the pipes. So we're going to, oh, oh, there is piping. Oh, wow, okay. I did not see that coming. I'm assuming that piping is either going to our fishing industry or yeah, our fishing industry. Yeah. Well, I guess I didn't completely screw up the piping, which is a positive. All right, then let's add um, a wind turbine. Do I have a do I have power over here? No, let's just add the wind turbine over here. There you go. All right, so guys, I'm gonna let this fill in. So thank you guys for watching, and I will show you guys the end result, and I will show you that our city will will have more goods to sell, and I'm pretty excited about it. So thank you guys for watching, and just wait a couple minutes for the end result. I appreciate everything you guys have done in my last video the top five ways to start your city. So I do appreciate that. Have a great day guys. And again, uh, there's going to be about a two minute time lapse. So bear with me and uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Okay, guys, we are back. And as you can tell, our generic industry has actually filled in really nicely and it looks really good. I did add more generic industry just now. I need that to fill in, but everything looks pretty awesome. Now, the real question of the day is how did we do with our goods coming in and out of the city and how is everything doing? First of all, this is a very busy cargo terminal first of all second of all there is some traffic but how did we do that's the real question first of all let's just zoom out real quick and go over here remember everything beforehand was really blue like we had a lot of these buildings now we do have some still because we're still waiting for the goods to actually come out and to actually spread throughout the city but we can say that for the most part, everything got a lot better. Like I'm saying a lot better. Like I know, again, there's a couple here and there, but in general, we did fix the goods. 
and goods are getting to the city. So, for example, what I also did was I created a cargo terminal over here. So, again, we have a place in the city where goods can come from trains, especially if we're exporting or importing. So, as you can tell, we're still importing a lot of goods. But look at, see, look at some of these trucks that are importing from our cargo tr train station. So we are importing more goods. And you these trucks can go throughout our, lucky, you can literally see it right in front of you that the trucks can actually go in and out of the city. And they're able to actually provide those goods and services to our industry or to our commercial rather. So remember before in front of this commercial area, we had all like, I know it's not filled in yet, but all these buildings were blue and needed goods and services. And now they're getting better and which is awesome. Then I also over here, I added another cargo, cargo transportation system or tran ugh, cargo train station. And again, this is super busy and everything is going really, really well. And again, we have the ability to bring goods commercial goods to over this part of the city we look at we have no need for any goods and services on this part of town and same goes over here it looks it's it's working guys that's all i really want to say the only thing i really need to fix is honestly this road because this train these trains are coming every two seconds so besides that it's worked out awesome so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below but we actually did awesome, awesome work today on the city.